Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, folks. Michael Zuber, one rental at a time, back with Jan, who in episode number one talked about the unfortunate thing he had to do, walk from $5 million in deals, lose some money. Uh, but as I said, and congratulated him repeatedly, that's a sign of strength, not weakness. And at the end of the video, he teased topic number two. It is time to double down, triple down, learn, expand seller financing. So tell us why seller financing is the answer, Jan. Uh, seller financing is the answer because banks are difficult. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> uh, look, if I don't have to deal with this nameless, faceless entity, uh, mm -hmm. that can control so many parts of my project without mm -hmm. me understanding each part that they're actually reviewing and approving or denying, um, I'm a happier camper if I don't have to go through that rigmarole. Mm -hmm. There's just so every time you add complexity to a process like acquiring debt and every time you add a step, that's just another opportunity for you to have the deal go sour, um, to get surprises, to have someone not like something random. I mean, yeah. there's just so many opportunities when we work with sellers directly, uh, we're dealing with an individual face to face, like you and I are talking, I say, mm -hmm. what do you need? How can mm -hmm. I get you what you need while still meeting my basic investment criteria? Exactly. It's such a more simplified, less error prone process. Um, mm -hmm. that, I mean, that's, that's the obvious benefit. There's so many benefits, but that's the starting point is you can communicate your needs and meet the needs of another person so mm -hmm. much easier than you can meet the needs of an entire organization that doesn't know you, that doesn't necessarily trust you besides what's on paper. Mm -hmm. And, um, that doesn't have a vested stake in, in, you know, you succeeding on the project like a seller does. A seller mm -hmm. I think cares more than a bank does about you personally and, and your success in the project. And so that, that's, the, that's the starting point, right? It's, it's an easier start. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, the, in this market, the next biggest benefit I would say is the terms on the debt are not defined by the market rates at the time. They're not determined by the Fed. And again, anytime we can pull something in a project and bring it back inside of our control, that's a win, right? Mm -hmm. And so we like that we have to just figure out what the seller's needs are and then see how we can meet those. So for example, on one of my first seller finance deals, we sat down with a gentleman that owned a 43 unit mobile home and RV park. And we said, what do you need? He said, I need five grand a month. That's what I need. I said, look, we can do that. But in order to hit that high monthly number, we're going to need to do, first of all, a, a low interest rate. Mm -hmm. And we're going to, and, and we're going to need, and he, he's like, I want it paid off. I, I need to receive this for 10 years. And I said, okay, we can do that too. But now we're really going to have to have a lower interest rate. Right. Mm -hmm. So we ended up getting a 2.68% interest rate. 11 year loan fully amortized over 11 years there and you go. our cash flow monthly is not as good but it's still great cash flow mm -hmm. and uh i'm i mean with the rate of inflation where it's at i'm happy to have 2.6 percent yeah fixed for 11 years and paid off fully amortized yeah right. that that's the for me the beauty of seller financing is you have a conversation with one person maybe two that can say yes or no that's right? it and they're clear. Usually they're very clear on what they want. And you, you, every time I, I have a conversation with sellers, everybody always asks, um, like, how do you find the rate? Well, I never talk rate. I've right. never, I basically say, what do you want? What do you need? I talk about what I need. And then the rate spits out, right? You, you can, I've got a rate on a, a 15 year fully am at one point something. Mm -hmm. I've got some at four. Um, What's the most, what's the largest seller finance deal you've done as far as loan? Do you remember? Uh, yeah. 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 I have, I have two mobile home parks um, in Eastern Washington under one seller, seller carry. Uh, we bought them for 1.55 and we put down 20% on that. Right. So you so, got a million two rough and tough yeah. seller finance. Yep. What's the smallest seller finance you've done? Smallest is a 450k purchase where we put down uh, 90 grand, so they carry 360. Yeah, so my largest seller financing is just over a million bucks as well. My smallest was 10 grand. Oh wow! Yeah, I, so it was the second house. I maybe it's the third. I forget. 
Um, this was way back in 2002 or 2003. Sure. I find I, I, the first deal I did was just a st- straight up 80% LTV, 20% down. I didn't know any different. Sure. Uh, then I figured, you know what? The, I can get the seller to carry back. So it was, a, it's a 12 grand, I think. So I bought the, the house on Ferris for 120. I didn't carry back 12 grand. Sure. Um, in that case, I want to say I had no, I think I didn't have any payments for five years. It was just a flat up balloon at five years. Oh, that's great. Yeah. So no payments, no interest, uh, just, just delayed. Cause again, the whole idea of terms, you get to make them up. Mm-hmm. You get to make them up. They have to be agreeable to both sides. Yeah. Right. So again, you, you can do small, you can do big ones. Um, yeah. and I think seller financing is the answer for the next couple of years. A hundred percent it is. Yeah. A hundred percent. And it's, it's very easy for, for, and I'm happy to share just a simple loan amortization calculator Mm -hmm. or schedule with, with uh, your viewers. I mean, it's, it's a very simple calculator, but it's important for you to understand what your monthly payment is going to be and what your takeout debt looks like uh, on a commercial loan versus a seller finance loan, because I think you will be blown away at how much more you can pay a seller. And exactly. I'd rather pay a seller than a bank every Amen. time. No, absolutely. I, I've done it. I did an example yesterday and I deep dive okay. where, where I, no, I mean, you can bring up, you have, do you have a screen that you want to share? Yeah. Yeah. I'd be happy to. Yeah. Just yeah. So while you do that, um, my example yesterday, cause I, again, the whole idea of seller financing, I, I did an example where I could have paid them. Like I could do a cash price at 800 or a seller finance in a million, mm-hmm. right? Because again, what do I do? I'm a buy and hold guy that wants to own it forever. So right. yes, I could, I'm theoretically overpaying by 200 grand, but I'm going to get a debt that's, you know, a third, the rate's going to be a third of what I can get in the market. I win long-term, right? right. So um, I think I gave you control if you want to share. Awesome. Yeah, I, I'm happy to, Happy to show what this looks like just very briefly so people can run this analysis themselves. I mean, this is a kind of a quick analysis template we use for our mobile home parks. Um, let's say, you know, this, this park is 40 space park at 300 bucks a month. Um, this isn't as important, right, as actually the, the comparing the debt, right? So let's assume here, you know, I have a little box. So as is rents, this thing brings in 10 grand, okay. 3,600 of OPEX. And debt service is seventy two hundred bucks, right? So we net negative four twenty three. That's an alligator. <laughs> it is, yeah. If I check the seller financing box, um, mind you, it's two hundred and twenty five thousand dollar higher price, just better terms. Mm-hmm. Suddenly, that same revenue, same opex, um, and yeah. lower debt makes this act. It's still not a deal, as you can see. Um, but it's not okay. negative, <laughs> but it's not negative anymore. And, and the price is dramatically higher. So let me just, you know, show you what, what kind of assumptions we're using here. Okay. So let's just assume it's the same for both, right? A million dollar price. Mm-hmm. Let's say we have to put down 250 on the sure. commercial loan. Mm-hmm. It's amortized over 25 years. Mm-hmm. And very simply, our, our monthly payments, 4,800 bucks. Yep. Right? Um, if we take on the seller finance side, uh, let's take the same thing, a million bucks, Oops, and let's an put e- down an extra zero there. That's right. Let's put down the same amount, 25%, but now we're going to do 3% over 30 years. That's another big one. In commercial, exactly, yes. in commercial loans, yeah, everyone wants to give you 25-year amortization, maybe even 20-year. Yeah. Here we can, with the seller, I sometimes I propose 40-year. Yeah, I've done that 40-year, absolutely. And sometimes, you, if you, I mean, if you want interest only, you just put nine 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 nine, and you can see principal goes away. Yeah, there you go. Right. Mm-hmm. And so this is just it's amortized over so long that it's just there's no it's, it's all only. interest, <laughs> all interest, and that's cool too. You know, it's yeah. great for cash flow. Mm-hmm. But you can do a longer ammo period, a lower rate, and now with the same down payment, same price, you have a thirty one sixty two versus commercial loan forty eight hundred. I mean, that's mm-hmm. seventeen hundred dollars. Yeah. Just by talking to someone a month yeah. that adds up. Right. So now let's see how much we can pay a seller and let's assume this monthly amount, you know, it works for us. Okay. Right. We can pay 4,800 a month. Let's say, let's say, look, Mr. Seller, I can pay you 4,800 a month. Uh, and I'd rather work with you than a bank. 
Sure. But I still do want a lower interest rate. However, yeah. I'm going to pay you more. Let's pay you 1.2 million, an extra $200,000. Oops. Excuse me, I keep adding extra zeros. <laughs> so, and yeah, you're still below. You're still below, right? And you're, I mean, let's say I want to put down less with the seller. Sure. 150 grand. Still below. Yeah. Right. Yeah. This this is the power of seller financing, folks. And again, you don't start here. You don't go in. You don't you don't bully anybody. You ask questions. You figure what's going on. Uh, I I think that this is why I told John in video number one we we have this next ninety to you know one hundred and twenty days where sellers will eventually wake up Mm -hmm. because eventually they'll see stuff like this. And it would not shock me if one of your two deals comes back to you in ninety days. And oh, by the way, you'll get an even better deal. Uh, when mm-hmm. they come back. So it'd mm-hmm. be interesting. I found it, Michael. This this is a roughly equivalent payment. There you go. You know, we can we can pay 4800 bucks. So yep. the from a bank. Yep. Well, cool, there's my 4800 I can pay a million dollars. I need to give them a quarter million. Mm-hmm. And not only that, I got to refi this thing at payment 60 right here. Yeah. That's a bummer. Yeah, right? it sucks. Yeah. With a seller, this is I mean, it's a dramatic difference. I can yeah. pay the guy a quarter million dollars more. I can get a nice low down payment, a hundred thousand, yep. right? Mm-hmm. Amortize over 30 years and I'm going to negotiate, you know, at least a 10 year term. So I don't All have right. to think about this again for 10 years instead of five. I might get a 20 year term. I might yeah. get, a, you know, somewhere. 15, somewhere. whatever. Yeah. yeah. Hey, something better than five. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Better. Yeah. I, I got to tell you, Jan, one thing I would not do today is a five year term on anything. I'm only right. doing 10 years. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah that that yeah. is, that's awesome stuff. Again, seller financing is very flexible. Interest rate, term, payment, down payment, balloons, no balloons, prepay, no prepay. Like one of the deals I did where I bought an entire portfolio, uh, the seller gave me a deal on the value, but he was afraid that I would pay him off early. Mm. So A, he gave me a rate that was competitive, like a point below market, but so not great. Sure. Um, but I agreed to give him a 100K prepay if I, if okay. I paid it off in uh, anything less than five years, I think. Okay. I'm not paying that off, right? I'm not right. refining. I don't care what happens. I'm not giving them another hundred grand. Right. Um, but again, you could just listen, right? If that's what the seller concern is, and if you're putting a deal structure and you're not going to sell, then give them a big, big prepay, right? What's the big deal, right? Sure. Right. Yeah. And again, they feel better. You feel better. You listen to them. You got what they want. And again, I gave him the 50K prepay, and I think he gave me an extra quarter point off the rate or something. I mean, it was just a, over, I think we were having coffee at a Starbucks. It's like, what works for you? What works for me? The, yeah. this, this is my no-go. This is your no-go. It's just an easier conversation. Oh, it's so, it's so much better. And, and like I said, I, I'd really prefer, you, know, you, you look at every downtown commercial core in every major city in America, what are the biggest buildings? They're banks. banks. And they're, and they're, you know, um, they're, they're doing great. They don't need more of your money, right? Yeah. They already have you. We yeah. all have commercial debt. We all have residential debt if we're if we're investing seriously. Mm-hmm. And they've just you don't need to give them more. You it's let let's get let's keep some money in the investor community. I mean, yeah. and let's work with individuals. It's if you can get good at this, it will change the way you do business. Like yeah, I, I think the next, and we're going to talk about this again, teasing video three, how I am marketing to owners today. Uh, I'll show you something I'm working on right now. I share with my channel all the time, but yeah, I'm actively seeking uh, off-market deals right now uh, for, because I'm keen on doing seller finance. Not that I won't do a cash deal, but damn it, it's going to have to be a smoking deal. Right. Uh, so Jan, where can people find you? Find me on Facebook. Uh, type in... W-A-R-E-I or Washington Real Estate Investing. Got a Facebook group uh, that is engaged. Nice place to connect with other investors in the Pacific Northwest or nationally and uh, chat with me there. Awesome. Thanks, buddy.